Good morning, my friends. Amy Freeze reporting to you today on Tuesday, June 25th, 2013 for another installation of my videos that I'm creating for my Ironman Wisconsin 2013 journey. This is my first Ironman that I'm training for and it has been quite the journey since September 2012 to say the least. So today I will share with you my favorite workout from the past seven days and what I've got going on with nutrition as well as what's keeping me motivated and inspired just to keep on keeping on. So workout, favorite workout from the week, doing one loop of the Moo course on Saturday with my friends. It was Dave and Ruth and Brad and Phil. Thanks for being great host, Phil. You are fantastic. Wonderful leader. Um, so we did one loop, which was 42 miles, and it was how should it was what I expected um, because I've been doing hill work here in New Berlin, Wisconsin, the hills of New Berlin, as Dave likes to call it. Um, it I, I don't want to say it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. It, it was what I thought it would be. It was really freaking hilly, and. You know, a lot of people will talk about that there's four hills on Ironman Wisconsin. Um, I beg to differ. There's, I, I counted on the, uh, when I looked at the whole, the whole uh, route, I decided that there were 12. <laughs> that just makes me feel better <laughs> because then I know that it's relentless, okay? It just keeps going. Um, but my favorite part of the course by far was when Phil and Dave were like breaking it down and saying like, oh, this is the best part because of da 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 da, -da. And Brad has done an Ironman too, so he was, he was uh, sharing his experience. So that was like super duper fun. Um, the hardest part of the course from my experience, um, I'm used to going downhill now. I can comfortably confidently go downhill, uh, go down hills at 30 miles an hour. I just say, dear God, please keep me safe. Dear God, please keep me safe. But there's a pair of hills. Um, Mount Horb was fun too, by the way. Um, but there's a pair of hills that windy, I want to say, no, windy up. Yeah, because the windy down, we'd already done. The windy up, I don't know the names. And then the up the hill. Oh, my God. I guess some people call it the... Um, Oh my gosh, I can't even I can't even remember what it's called right now. But it was up windy up, straight up, what well, felt straight up, but just when you thought you had that rest, you didn't have that rest, and then you got up that second hill and you're just like, holy balls. Wow, that was really challenging. Holy crap, I totally just did that. You know, so it was like it was it was awesome. So that was 42 miles of a very good training round. And it was overcast when we started. It rained for the majority of the ride, and then it cleared up. But I'll tell you, I'm glad that it did because A, we were all safe, and B, it toughened us up. Because if you can train on really crummy days, and race day's beautiful and perfect, bonus. Uh, but if race day's not so perfect like you want it to be, you know what you're getting yourself into. So that was a fantastic, fantastic training day. Um, also, the very next day, my husband and I rode for 48 miles on some little bit of hills, yeah, and a lot of straightaways, but that was a good strength ride to do after a hilly ride the day before. Now, my husband and I, that's our date day together. We do a long bike ride on the weekends, especially during the summer, right? So, you know, usually Sunday's my rest day, but I really wanted to spend that with him, and I'm glad that I did that. I just switched my rest day from Sunday to Monday, so way to go, Joe. 48 miles he did on his new road bike. That was awesome. So, um, and I'll tell you a little secret if you promise not to tell anybody. We both fell. We both fell. We didn't clip out soon enough. Got a little raspberry, but you know, that's okay. Hey, I fell twice this past week. Done. No more. It's all right. Falls always affect this and this more than this, right? It's just embarrassing, but oh well. Say la vie. It happens. Well, and on to nutrition. Now, we have 11 weeks until Ironman Wisconsin. So time is of the essence. And not only from a training perspective, but from a nutrition, nutrition perspective. And with every single one of my nutrition clients and with every single corporate talk and every single group talk that I've always done, I always will talk about planning and preparation. So I'm taking my own advice and I'm putting myself on a meal plan. Now I eat clean about 85 to 90% of the time, right? I mean, 
But then there are some days when I'm just not prepared and I'm flying by the seat of my pants and it's just go to go, 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 go. So today, this lady here is creating a meal plan, going to the grocery store and getting everything that I need. So that means the refrigerator will be filled with vegetables, with prepared proteins, with lots of healthy fats, with some fruits. Um, I'll throw some dairy in there. So for instance, I'm gonna buy peppers. I love red peppers, cucumbers, broccoli, cauliflower, kale, turnip greens, endive, arugula. Um, all this stuff is growing in the garden, right? But it's not edible. Well, it's too little right now. But I have to have all of those things ready because things are busy, 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 like more so than before. So um, I'll buy chicken breasts and I'll cook up chicken breasts. I'll cook up chicken thighs. I'll cook up pork chops and just get all those ready. I will always have nuts in the refrigerator. I will always have avocados in the refrigerator, chopped up onions, garlic cloves just ready. So all I have to do is smash them, throw them in. Eggs, I will have raw eggs. I will have hard boiled eggs. I'm gonna be in the kitchen for a long time. <laughs> but that's okay because I understand that the payoff now, or I'm sorry, the preparation now is a big payoff later and I highly recommend that you do that too. Um, oh, and I'd be happy to share my meal plan with you. Uh, if you let me know, I will send it to you uh, via Facebook. I will email it to you. So shoot me an email at fearlessnutritionllc at gmail.com and I'll send you a copy. No big deal. I have nothing to hide. I would love for you. I would love for you to eat healthy. Absolutely positively. That's my goal in life. All right, so that's nutrition going on. Motivation and inspiration. Well, hmm, I had to think about this one for a while because, gosh, as a human being, I procrastinate. And things that scare me, I procrastinate even more. I've realized about, the, about this. I've realized about myself this thing that I share with you, and it's a little, I'm a little nervous and a little scared to share it with you. But I'm the type of person that when things get tough and when I get anxious, I withdraw. And I kind of sh know I do shut down. Like uh, if I have to make phone calls for my, for my business, I will find other reasons to do other things, you know? And oh, look, email. Oh, look, Facebook and those shiny objects. But what's keeping me motivated and inspired is to know, first of all, that I have some some expenses that are coming up for Iron Man that I have to generate. I have to generate revenue for. So being disciplined and being motivated and seeing what those payoffs are. So like literally knowing, okay, I have to have X amount of dollars the month that Iron Man happens because I have to pay for the hotel. I have to buy food. I'm going to buy a finisher's jacket, you know, like things like that. So all of these things that are that are going to happen that I'm forecasting out in the future, I'm preparing for now. So my motivation and my inspiration is discipline, 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 even in the face of fear, even in the face of I don't want to, because I must, I must, I must, I must is my motivation. So I owe it to myself, I owe it to my husband, I owe it to my colleagues, I owe it to my training people. Um, like, because I'm part of the team and I, and I want and need to do all of these things that cost money, right? Um, and I want to be able to have a good race day. So that comes down to discipline too. So it's food, it's training, it's money, it's time, it's church, it's husband. You know, so like all of these things come together. So, you know, and I, by the way, I've missed church a couple, yeah, more than a couple weeks here, about three or four weeks. And I really miss it. So I saw my pastor today at Starbucks, and I think that's God's way of saying, you got to get back to church. He told me that the sermon's going to be about judgment. So I think that's a very good topic to go listen to. So thank you, Pastor Eric. I'm glad we ran into each other at Starbucks. That was awesome. But my friends, that's it for today. Um, I am very happy that you are watching this video. I really, really hope that even if you're not training for Ironman, that you find these videos inspiring, that you find them informational or educational or even entertaining. Um, and if there's anything that you want to talk about, hear about, um, let me know. I'd be happy to share. So please check me out on my website, which is fearlessnutritionllc.com or you can contact me via email at fearlessnutritionllc at gmail.com. Or you can find me on Facebook or Twitter at Amy Freeze, F-R-I-E-S-E. -E. That's it. 11 weeks to go, my friends. Have a fabulous summer. Stay hydrated. Eat your vegetables. Make sure you get to those farmer's markets or get to your grocery store and eat them up. Eat them up. Eat them up. So with that note, I will talk to you all again in a week. Until that time, eat smart, move strong, and live fearless. All right, I'll talk to you all later.